Hello everyone, it's Trina here from thereisacardforthat.ca and today I'm going to be making an alcohol ink window card um, with some Ranger alcohol inks and acetate and it's going to be a double layer and there's kind of a lot going on even though it's it's a pretty simple card. So I picked my three colors, a blue, kind of a turquoise or a peacock and this purple and I'm just dropping them on top of a piece of acetate and I'm so sorry about my head it's gonna get in the way a lot but it's for the greater good We've gotta gotta blow the alcohol ink around and I'm just using a regular straw to do that um, so excuse my head I try not to get it in the way but it happens so I'm just gonna blow that around until it's thinner and add a little bit more of the blending solution and just back and forth until I get a look that I want. And then I am going to close everything up because alcohol ink will dissolve pretty quickly. And then I am going to set that aside to dry. I am going to use a baby wipe just to wipe off the alcohol ink that got on the tape, um, just so that I don't get messy later on. And I do anyway. So <laughs> I guess it didn't really matter, right? Um, so I'm gonna set that aside to dry. And then I'm going to place down another piece of paper and another piece of acetate. And with this one, I am going to be using some Mother of Pearl Texture Gel from Dollar Rowney. Dollar Rowney? Rowney? I'm not sure. Um, I had done a review on it before. I pick it up at Walmart and it's like five bucks for a huge thing and it's so fantastic. So I'm going to use the texture paste through the Butterfly stencil that I got in the Simon Says April 2018 card kit because it finally arrived and uh, I'm just going to put a little bit at the top. I didn't want the two butterflies in the corner. I just wanted like this, this splay of butterflies down the middle. So I just used some painter's tape to mask those off so that they wouldn't be in my way and then just my little flat edge and I'm going to um, just kind of smush that through. I'm going at about a 30 to 45 degree angle uh, so that it moves cleanly and doesn't go underneath the stencil and at this point like the alcohol inks I'm just playing around and I figured I should have my camera going just in case it works out because I've never used embossing paste or structure gel or anything like that on acetate and I had no idea how it was going to work um, and it actually turned out working really well. So I ended up setting those aside to dry, went and did something else for a couple hours and then I came back and I'm going to use some 1 8 inch score tape to go around the edges of the alcohol ink panel. Um, I chose to use the score tape because with liquid glue it kind of like smooshes and I was afraid it would be seen because this is going to be the bottom panel with the alcohol ink facing up because even though it's dry it can get a little bit tacky and sticky to the touch um, so I wanted that in the middle and then the panel with the butterflies is going to go over top of that to kind of protect the ink so that even like if something hits it or something like that, like it'll still scratch off, like it's still a smooth surface, right? So I'm just gonna peel the release papers off all of those and get all the fuzzies off my top panel. And the acetate that I use is just the stuff from the stationery store. It's not special acetate or card making acetate, it's actually the stuff from the overhead projectors and you get a pack of 50 for like 40 bucks. And I was pretty certain that I was gonna run out so I had another one. <laughs> And I've been using the same pack for five years. Um, you don't run out. You just don't. <laughs> it doesn't happen. So once I had those lined up the way I wanted them, and I had played before I turned the camera back on about which direction and which side I wanted the big butterflies on. And then I'm going to add another layer of the score tape onto the top of the embossed panel um, because I am going to be adding a frame. Nobody wants to see the edges of this. I mean, some of the alcohol ink got trapped underneath the painter's tape, and that's just not pretty, right? So, and I think um, with the the bright colors, a black frame really makes it pop. 
So I had cut a top folding standard A2 sized card base and then I had used the same dies to cut a window into this one and I wasn't sure again how that was going to work out so I had done that off screen and I'm adding another layer of the 8th inch score tape around that window. Um, I didn't want to have a white background behind this, so like when the recipient, or even me, because I've been playing with it a little bit, because I've got some beautiful sun coming in through my giant window right now, and the color that comes through this is so, so pretty. If I were to redo this card, I think the only thing I would do is use less of that peacock turquoisey color, because it ended up being really, really dark. I would go lighter colors. Um, there's a good chance I'm probably going to do another one of these. Maybe I won't film it, but like with yellows and oranges and stuff because it would look like a sunset and it's just, it's so pretty. Um, so <laughs> luckily for me, um, the score tape on the paper was going onto the acetate side or I would never would have been able to do this part. I had misaligned it when I was trying to put it together. Um, and had that been the paper on paper, it would have torn to bits and my panel would have been ruined. But with this, I was able to just squish it down nice and flat a second time and no one is the wiser except for you guys because I told you. But other than that, you would never have known. Uh, so next, I'm going to take some of the Studio Cadia Sparkling Clear Crystals and I'm going to use a little bit of the multi-medium matte from Ranger and in the stencil, there's these little dots to go with this this splay of butterflies and I'm going to use coordinating sizes from Studio Cadia's crystals over top each of those dots. Um, once the Ranger multimedia matte dries it will dry clear and matte and so anything underneath it will come up through these crystals and it's super pretty and you'll be able to see that at the end. It is a little bit difficult to get crystals with liquid glue to stay in one spot and you'll see coming up here on the very last one it like moves right over so I kind of gotta tuck it back in there but it ended up working out really well which you'll see in the pictures. So just putting those down and again that's just my DIY toothpick quick stick tool because I don't have a regular one. And that is our card for today. I haven't decided what I'm going to do in the middle yet so I'm just going to leave that until I need to. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and comment. I appreciate every single one of them and I do try to get back to people. I will leave links to my blog and my Facebook page down below. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Bye.